Chapter Six. This chapter is quite. It feels just like one of those chapters where the jokes are based on jokes from earlier chapters. I think. It, uh, um. Yeah, so that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it's... I mean, it was a lot of like a lot of these chapters because they're so short. It's like a lot of setup. No, the most sp- sp- specific one is for unlucky, the captain might be serious and come down <laughs> and read us some poetry. And in the last that last chapter, it said that you shouldn't let a foregone read you poetry. Um, right. But yeah. And um, yeah, and at the um at the end of the last chapter, okay. it it's like, and this is what he heard and then it starts off right from there with how how goggle how goggle how 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 goggle how goggle how how goggle 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 <laughs> goggle oh sorry uh, sorry let me re- goggle this is goggle, an unlicensed howl, audiobook goggle, goggle goggle they're gonna they're gonna howl slurp us now because he read all the Should howls have and a good time the message repeats anyway but um she i think this um the audiobook i think we're listening to i'm listening to animal farm and sometimes for some noises they will the reader will actually make the noises um it, there's a specific part but i don't want to spoil another book whilst talking about another one that just feels mean oh they like actually act out the noises that seems like what you yeah. should do for that situation yeah like <laughs> anyway but um um yeah and then it describes the fish that was quite interesting like it's just this babble fish. giant page about G- God not existing and the babble fish. Right. Well, and okay. Earth... The um, the, the logical argument was was that the babble fish being a fish which you can stick in is... your ear, and it will absorb all of the um, like unconscious frequencies of yeah. language, and. And the odds of these two events being related are... And and excrete, uh, like, a telepathic uh, wave, which turns... Which makes it so that you can um, understand any language and... Yeah, Yeah. what you were saying. Because it was something to do with telekinesis. But um, the odds of this were so impossibly small that it was a proof that God exists. And apparently God can't exist if there is proof of him existing which i i don't doesn't make sense um and then he dies of logic or something um right but well it's uh, um but it's, it's that and then there's um, the bestseller of the whatever well that about wraps it up for god yeah mm. yeah it's but yeah it's just um, that the likelihood of a creature evolving to be so convenient and useful. Uh, yeah. They they were seeing as proof that this didn't happen randomly, that there's clearly there's a god who made this useful tool yeah, for, yeah. for the universe. Um, yeah. And then, like, the logical argument was, was God says he refuses to provide proof that he exists, which is a thing um like in the bible like because he's not gonna he's not gonna show you proof that you're supposed to have faith um yeah so if oh, really? I haven't, I haven't... if this fish is like a obvious proof that he does exist because there's no way this could happen randomly then uh therefore it is proof and if he said he wasn't going to provide proof then he can't there is no no faith yeah I, like it, the thing is, we're both very tired here. <laughs> yeah, and there there is a kind of weird argument you could make against this, but that's like uh, I can't be bothered. But it, um, it, yeah, it and it's, and it, really, it wraps it, it up by saying part. most most theologians or or philosophers or whatever see this as a uh, yeah theologians is like studying of the Bible. I think no, I know what a theologian um, is. But, I just don't know if that's the word it uses. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it's theologian. Oh, it does. I don't have the okay. book. I thought, I thought you were like yeah, the- theologian. Like, like th- 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 I don't have the book. On me. Um, th- th- paleontologist, same thing. <laughs> I love the <laughs> the load of dingo's kidney. Yeah, that's what I was. That's is... the line I actually had written down here. Was that <laughs> was just dingo's kidneys. I love I love me some dingo's kidneys. Kidneys. Oh, 
Most theologians was. think this argument is a load of dinko's kidneys. Yeah. Um, um, uh, oh, yeah, it's caused many wars, actually, because of its communication. It doesn't go on, but you can kind of assume that why that happened. Um, like, say, missed... No, well, maybe, maybe we... Uh, no. It's just <laughs> it's it's implying stuff. that, like, everyone in the universe naturally wants to fight each other and just so, the... The yeah. only thing preventing also, them was that they didn't properly understand how to communicate. Yeah, yeah because if they... Yeah. I was thinking more like, because it has caused more wars, was because now people that can understand each other, they can understand all the terrible things they're saying about each other. Right, yeah. It's hard to insult someone if they don't understand what you're saying. Mm. Um um, Actually, cool. we kind of we kind of skipped um, ahead to the the babblefish. I had some things earlier in the chapter yeah. I wanted to talk about. So Can like at the about... at the beginning with the actual like <clears throat> dialogue coming over the um, the intercom that he's hearing translated for the first time. Um, yeah, the, yeah. The 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 Vogon captain guy just feels kind of like he's just a bad boss that maybe douglas adams yeah. had at some point yeah it, <laughs> like he, these do seem to be based off like personal experiences and stuff like that yeah like he says um he's like i worked very hard to get here i'm not gonna have yeah, some freeloaders <laughs> like oh and there was one about no one's gonna be allowed up the ship the short leave just had a very tough of yeah um no one's gonna be able to leave because i've had a was it or was it He's at an unhappy love affair. He doesn't see why anyone else should should be happy or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should have a good time. Message ends. Yeah. It's just like, I'm going to punish everyone on my ship because I, I'm having a bad day. Yeah. That feels very much like your typical, like, I mean, I love, I love terrible boss. They've got as much sex appeal. Yeah. I, do, I love to do the bit underneath. They've got as much sex appeal as a, as a road accident. <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, I like the concept of, like, hyperspace just making you trip balls, essentially. Yeah. Um, like, just Ford decided, like, his legs went through his head. He decided, like, it's, you know, there's weird, like, sometimes you'll click on YouTube and you'll find those weird, like, animations that people have made. And it's, like, really distorted audio. And, like, the the models are all, like, ragdolly and, like, phasing through each other. Mm-hmm. Sure. And, yeah, it, it it I I had that type of image in my head of like crappy G mod animation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> of just like just flailing around. Yeah, my um, my favorite line was like his feet were leaking out the top of his head or something. Yeah. Ever like the room had flooded flat around him and spun around or stuff like that. But yeah. Then he tries to he kind of comprehends it the whole... I guess he, he tries to get in his mind that Earth doesn't exist, so he just keeps going to more insignificant factors. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... It, so it goes from the Earth to England to America to New York to a dollar to... Yeah. A Bogart movie. Um, yeah, every that's, Bogart I guess movie. that's the one that kind of gets me, is like... Because I, I, I sort of get what he's thinking here, where it's like hard to comprehend that much like yeah, no longer I was, existing i i was trying to think of i was like as well as reading this i was trying to like relate and i was like yeah that's a really that's incredibly hard for me to grasp because it's yeah yeah um but um the one the one that i think i can relate to the most would be like where he where he says like all the bogart films are, are missing but like really just any yeah like media that you think about or like even this book, yeah. Like, yeah. Like you think Maybe of like something humans think is like completely untouchable, but like the entire internet would be wiped out. Yeah, there would be no remnants of yeah. anything. Like you, th- you think of like all of the writing, all of like Shakespeare and and the just any any sort of like classic novels. You think of them as, like, sort yeah. of existing forever. Well, yeah, what did get me the most was that all of this only existed in his brain now. And that's it. It's not recorded anywhere else but his brain. And that was, like, an incredibly scary thought. 
I right. guess it's a bit like how like every Ford every is the last person Dickens book, kind. every Beatles song, it's like the only the only remains of any of them would be what you can remember. Yeah. I feel like it's just part of me would just instinctively want to start writing things down, trying to like recreate as much of it as possible. But on the other hand, it's like it's really an impossible task. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's still all the radio waves and like kind of like stuff we've launched into space a bit. So there's still going to be because there's this website um, you can go on. Um, and it's a bit like you can track all these radio waves, and the further out you go, the older the radio transmissions would get, which is quite cool. But um, that does feel strange, especially when I was like thinking about like yeah, yeah. I just thought that like whole concept was really strange of like just being alone, I guess. But yeah, it's surrounded by many, many different species. Yeah, you're the last one. Oh, then he gets. Like, they're like, oh, hang on, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy would have a thing on Earth. He's been there for 15 years. And then uh, Ford was like, oh, I haven't written it yet. And he's like, oh, uh, well, what did it say? So, um, and he's like, oh, um, harmless. <laughs> and then he, like, um, yeah, then he gets quite angry at Ford. And it's like, well, Ford is like, yeah, but we have to cut corners somewhere. <laughs> there's hundreds, there's a hundred billion stars in our galaxy. And then he had limited space in our books, microprocessor. But then when he was like, oh, so you're, you're changing it then? He's like, oh, yes, I've made a good improvement. And it's like, oh, okay, yes, what does it say now? And he's like, yeah, but my editor had to cut it a bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mostly harmless. <laughs> now it says mostly harmless. Earth. And it's like... Mostly harmless. Well, like, I like how there's an in-depth log about an unevolved creature that has been shunned from evolution that is incredibly ugly as a whole entry but a species filled with lots of culture and history is just (laughs) harmless um well that species never even took the time to go down to alpha centauri and visit anyone so yeah i I guess um do they really deserve more of an article yeah fair enough 